Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So in case you couldn't tell, I sound a little bit and look like death because I have a runny nose and I'm slightly sick. But I'm going to make this video anyway, just for you. Today I want to talk about the best couple of weeks of college that I think I've had so far, but we have a lot of good stuff to cover, including magic, dancing, and the F word. Yeah, that's right, I said the F word is a good thing. We'll get to that later, but we got a lot to talk about, so let's get started. I'm going to start off by saying that I finally started volunteering at Nationwide Children's Hospital, uh, doing magic tricks for kids in the waiting rooms, and I want to say that it's super rewarding. Speaking of Nationwide Children's Hospital, I also participated in Buckeye Thon 2015, which is a dance marathon that runs for long periods of time uh, to fundraise money to Nationwide Children's Hospital for the kids. To the Buckeye Thon Dance Marathon 2015! Our goal this year was to raise $1 million, but instead we raised $1.2 million. Now that's not as much as some of the other schools that I've seen, but it's a lot for us because we haven't really done this dancing thing too long. It's only been like five years or so. It was also really good to spend a lot of time with my friends, dancing, buying a rainbow of bow ties, but most importantly, it was for the kids and it feels really good to donate to the hospital where I volunteer. Lastly, I want to talk about the F word. Or in a broader sense, I want to talk about TEDx, OSU which was a TED Talk that I saw on Valentine's Day, which was really awesome, and included topics such as uh, black holes, racism, uh, homosexuality, coral reefs, and the F word. But this F word is not the one that you think. It's actually feminism. Marissa McGrath gave a brilliant speech on feminism, and it made me realize why I have trouble accepting feminism like it's the F word. But let me explain that. Just like there's the Westboro Baptist Church for Christians, there's also that for feminists, a small part of the group that the media tends to focus on and doesn't give the whole group a good appeal. Now, I realize I'm in no place to talk because I made a video last week where I said some things that weren't the things that I meant, and once again, I apologize for that. But, however, I do want to stand for gender equality, and I want to say the right things. And not just gender equality, also racism, and I also want to tackle uh, sexual preference. And I also really just don't want to judge a, an entire group based on its small subset. All in all, it's been a great couple of weeks. I'm glad that I started volunteering at the hospital. I'm glad that I danced for those who couldn't. And I'm glad I finally could cross seeing a TED Talk off my bucket list because it was fantastic. Other things that went really well this week is I did really well on my first two midterms, and I started working out. Yes, I went to the gym once. I, I, I'll go again, eventually, probably tomorrow. I will, but I, at least I started. <laughs> if you like this video, click the like button somewhere below here. And if you want to see more videos in the future, you can click the subscribe button right here. And um, Adrian's coming at you with his video next week. I'm not sure what it'll be about but I do know that he will be exhausted for working out 60 minutes a day with Andrew. As always, ladies and gentlemen, keep it classy.